Hello folks and welcome back to New Man's Lands. And as you can see here, we've got a four trailers of mushrooms, some flowers and some eggs. And the reason for that is the price for the mushrooms is about 150-ish pounds lower than its maximum peak price. So I thought might as well sell this now, get a bit of profit in now. At least then if for whatever reason the harvester comes up in the used market for the cotton or the sugar beets. Then we can get that at a discounted price possibly. Also the money's gone down a little bit, or actually it's gone up I think. Yes, yeah, gone up and down. That's because we sold the one cultivator extra we had, the Landos. We sold one of those. We got 70 grand back from that, so just for one day that costs us 10 grand, but I think actually it was worth it. Also, it came up in the used market and we bought the Tardis that was on sale in that episode. I thought it was just a trailer, but it was a forage harvester, so. And a forage wagon, not a harvester. So have a little look here. It is the Unreal Capacity version, I think, is it? Yeah, yeah, 200,000 years. But whenever we use this, we are going to just use about 50,000 and then just empty it. And did we sell the other equipment yet? No, we have not. So. Here's the thing, I've been thinking about this for about a day and I'm going to speed up some of our productions of things like the hay and that. Got to mow it, windrow it, tell it. It's just extra work so I'm going to get a production in, very cheap one, 10 grand. And basically it dries the grass and converts it to hay. We're still going to have to bathe her here, that's why we have to bathe her there. It's like certainly nearly sold out, I thought about selling it, but because you get productions for silage. So if we have a look. So go down here. So you can have this, like the fermenter silo. Let's just go to the farm circle and see how it all fits in. I thought maybe I should go for this, I'm not sure yet. It definitely makes sense in that, but I do like the idea of bathing, so. It's not too big. All we have to do is buy another plot of land, perhaps, and yeah. I was going to put more productions along here, so unless we say we put one there, there's that, or before I do anything else, so we can get this one, the Basically what we got, the farm supply production, but this one has pig food, seed, chaff, and size of that. Actually that looks quite nice actually. So input and output is there. Ah, that's a big boy. So we're gonna go with that one. Was there another one? That's the one we're going for the grass dryer. Also, got to think about placement for that, so maybe there or something like that. I don't think I'll have any other mods enabled for what I want. No, so yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's just go sell the bather. Yeah, you know what? Heck it. If I regret it, we could always just buy the beer back. I'm sure it'll pop in the used market at some point, so. So I'm thinking something like. There. So, so just. Have to arc in a little bit. There we go, I like the look of that. It's gonna be a bit of a bump there, but I think overall, I'm not gonna be too much of an issue. And where's that grass dryer? M and O P no, go back here. Where where was it to? I swear I had it. 
there is there so inputs on the left and outputs on the right so thinking something like that and then all you have to do is get the landscaping and just level it off I think level all of that back actually only what we should have done the leveling first so let's go and do that again just leveling all of that back so Yeah, better terrain to work with. Yeah, I know it's going to be a pointy bit there, but I'm not... Overall, yeah, I'm not concerned. And then just a quick ping tin, so we'll grab... The asphalt, was it? There we go. And then just... Ping this. Oh, that's going to look so ugly. Oh, you know what? Bear with me a sec, let me get it sorted, and then we'll come back. There we go, that is better, so... Yeah, quite a bit of expense that was, just... Getting it leveled out, and then just giving this a good old soften. Just smooth out the textures and that. Smooth out the terrain, so... Grass goes in there, gets dried, hay comes out of here. Grass, hay and that, all goes in there, all chaff, and comes out as silage here. So I'm thinking actually that is very nice actually indeed. Actually, I think yeah, thinking about it, that is actually nice. Now to get our money back, so all this here ain't gonna bother wash it, everything's been repaired and repainted, so that is nineteen three. 123 grand that we just got back. So that's almost enough for the cotton harvester. But to get the rest of it, we have to sell the mushrooms. At the moment, best place to sell the mushrooms is the farm shop. Also, I forgot to mention, we did adjust the sell point, so it makes our life so much easier when it comes to selling material now, from now on. So the first bit, 122 grand. Hundred and twenty four sevens, hundred and twenty five. And that's all bits. Come on, Excel. It's always the eggs. There we go. 125. That's 153 grand there. Christ. <laughs> So yeah, that is actually quite nice for us. And so now, the mower situation. I've had a look, and there are some options for us. So if we go into, why oh, has it got to do with the same piece of equipment on the used market? Just slightly used more than the other. So for harvesters, yes, we can use those. However. I thought about it, and we're gonna get a mower, not a chrome one. One because we don't have enough money for it, but we're gonna get the swaffer. So this is the one. Oh, I can't remember who's by, but it's one that you use on the like, Edge Wars Saskatchewan map. But obviously, that's why that's our swaffering map, so you can swaff any crops in that. This ain't one though, so we're gonna go with this one. Basically, you can use this for any crop and that. I think. Once that 
and this that one's that, but this is definitely a mower I see. Mowers cut grass. We can go with the slightly small one with a higher working speed. Good thing about this, that uh, is also a, a twin max conditioner. That is the, oh, what was it? Yeah, it makes the hay that's so can make hay directly from that. However, even that 50 miles an hour, 5 meters. Yeah, great. I'd rather just this you double with slightly 20% more speed and get this one. So that's what we're going to do. So Massey, Heston. No, let's go. Let's go with a Challenger. Got these tires. Let's go with Michelin's. Let's go with those. And get the Swaffer. Or get the header for it. Decals, yes, why not? If I had Follow Me mod, this would make this so much easier. We can just set this to Follow Me and that, but unfortunately, we're not like lucky on console, so we're gonna have to do this separately. I think it's time we can mow the grass and that. So we'll do the demonstration. And we do have a test plot here. Obviously this technically we own this area, so we can use this as a little testing area. Oh come on. Move out of the way you. So reverse that back. Oh, I forgot. Oh dang it, I forgot to turn the times up. Let's put up on time six, so. Obviously this grass will not collect him, but we can just demonstrate. So, onto the grass here. Turn it on. See it moves. And it leaves a nice swath. That ah, is nice. Basically it's just a 9.2 meter mower, but rather than having the tractor with the front and rear mowers, we can just use this. So, I may do it later on in the episode, but for now, we really need to focus on getting the shkabeets planted. So, we'll get this over here ready. Let's get the mini map up rather than the big one. So we're on to 57 here, and obviously we'll get this mode, get this done this month. If you can try to plant it, and no, I'm not. You know what? Actually, you know what? Let's say yes, we will. We'll put times free. So this a this one and the next episode was going to be in March. So obviously got some trees cut down. That is not an issue. But now let's get everything back to the farm and get the planter hooked up because that's what we need to focus on. So right, planters here ready. Got those potatoes that we collected from the greenhouses. That's gonna be sold. Get about five grand for those, I think. And yeah, that's all there ready. And we did do some quick repairs on the beater and we're paying, got about 11 grand out of that. Well, that that's how much it costs us, so let's go and sell it. 50 grand. Yeesh. Hmm. Why not go to regret that? We'll find out. But yeah, so we are planting sugar beets, so the cost of. Well, with sugar beets, we can go a few options. We can go cheap route, which should cost us about 20 grand. No, 40 grand, sorry. <laughs> Three meters working width. Or, if we earn enough money, which is maybe, maybe not, it is quite fine actually, we can go with the sugar beet. And sweet. Oh, that's a game changer. We can do potatoes or sugar beet. Oh, 
What's so standard is forty three thousand liters, quarter of a mil or half a mil. So keep it standard, put a stupid engine in there. All the tire options. Spikes. Got the ground king. Some very good options. Yeah, I think we'll go with BKTs when we go with it. Neon lights, all sorts, and we can have lots of funds with the painting. What's the headers on that? Four meters. Yeah, I'm not, we're not going to go unrealistic as much as I'm tempted. But yeah, that's going to cost us 425 grand. It's a possibility, but we're going to have to see when we get there. But uh, let's get these sugar beets done. I think it'll take us too long. So I think we'll just do quick headland, get the worker on it, and then we'll set this off doing the main field here. Spraying by spraying some herbicide 
And yes, we did end up doing sugar beets because in time lapse, I just remembered we need chicken food. So, I'll force, first of all, let's buy oats and that. But then, yeah, that didn't work out well. And had said it, lost a, bit, a little bit of money on it, but not too worried. So, we're just doing sugar beet and sugar beets. And the reason for that is if we have a look at the map or the crop calendar, sugar beets, that'll be ready to harvest in October. And then we can do barley and that'll be ready for July of next year. And then we can go back onto canoe on one of these fields at the very least. We may do canoe this year in one of our new fields I plan on doing, but not sure on that yet. We could, could have done potatoes, but to think about it at the time, and actually we could have done canola. Yeah, if we did potatoes, we could have done canola and harvest that when, yeah, in July. But I did think about doing some other things like, again, oats, could still done that, get straw out of it, or even sugar cane with those planters on offer, but. Yeah, it's like not to in the end. Hopefully that doesn't come to bite us, but that's the risk we're taking. Hopefully we've got enough straw for TMR. And again, that's why we said about the money situation, you should just have enough. Okay, there we go, it is spraying. I think I just did miss a bit there, but back on to what it was on about. Little memory fog there, so yeah, with the straw situation, if we need straw, we'll buy some. But yeah, with the money in that, because we're going to get cows, we're going to get cows. I don't know, we could, actually, yeah, we could do it in the next episode. We have enough money for the mixer and that, so why not? Get the mixer in, that's going to be 80 grand, but it's going to be a worthwhile investment because we can easily get a ton of stuff already pre-made but yeah that's an option for us and it is raining now and how long it's gonna be raining for dang it until four o'clock <laughs> so our plans getting all this done in this episode is gonna be oh yeah a bit of the tire sir because we'll get the moment done and the field created. Perhaps what we can do is just put the time down to 0.5 or something after 4 o'clock. Oh yeah. Oops. Try back up. Try again. Yeah, it sounds like this week everything's so close to somehow it is. Touch and go. And I'm sure I'm going to have to do a bit of spot spraying here and there once we're done here. When the crops start to grow, because we are going to miss some bits. Because the weeds aren't, they're growing, but they're not showing yet. The weeds are showing that field though, so we should have done that instead. I don't know what, the stitch this and do that instead, at least him, we know what we're doing. So, in theory, Cotton's growing, so we can use this. Just get rid of those pesky weeds. And we did miss a bit again. Why am I so bad at missing bits now? Like, that's a decent chunk right there. Oops. Oh, no. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I thought we could have easily gone over the fence with this, but yeah, the bar ain't high enough. Actually, you know what? Heck it. Let's go over to 4 o'clock and start doing the mowing. So, get you to go on to that. And if we look at the weeds, yeah, a couple of spots here and there. Let's see if it miss, doesn't miss spots with the AI, but uh, yeah, no, I'm not sure on that. Because yeah, if we cut, 
sorry, if people don't have access to land. I guarantee it's going to say. Alright, it's not saying it's affecting the yieldage. That's the thing. Do we gamble? You know what, or not? Let's give us a skip to 4 o'clock. Uh, is there anything else in the use market? Ooh, there is a planter for potatoes. And there is a barn topper. I should turn you off. So a little quick skip, and here we are at 4 o'clock. And yeah, had a quick look, and the FT300 is basically yeah, a foliage hardened topper. And that is for this. But we're going to go with the harvester, so. Yeah, I think we'll stick with that. And. Yeah, we could do this, do some cheeky work with that, and then pick it up off the ground. Not sure yet. Well, yeah, we'll think about it, because. Again, another thing I want to do at some point is grapes. Grapes and slash or olives, perhaps more so grapes. And we're looking at quarter of a mil, 240 grand quarter of a mil just for that, so. But yeah, if we do strip here. And in theory. So I just want to test this without going into the dryer, even if it is chaff. Because if it ain't, then... Got a little issue there, so... Okay, turn that off. Hop into you. Yeah, obviously you want the side out here, so if you want to make silage, we can with a bunker silo. Yeah, no, don't have access to the land. So it does this at 13 miles an hour, not too bad of a speed. Very good pickup, it's not missing bits. So that is 3,650 litres. And yes, that actually is grass, if I look at the bottom right. Ah, so it's only chaff when it goes into the silo. Ah, that makes sense. Obviously, all of this is going to be hay. So, do like this. There we go, grass goes in. And if we turn that, that's going to be turned on. And grass is going to be converted in. That's 360,000 litres a month, so. Yeah, see that going down already quite quickly, even at 0.5 game speed. Obviously, if we put into a fermenter silo, then would that count as front silo? Obviously, if you put into a bunker silo, I get that, I've seen that. Oh, missed a tree here. Before we had all the trees cut down. But yeah, we also did cut all the trees down in the field here, like in the middle of the field. Including one big old tree, like a 25 meter tall tree, so. And I think in terms of all the little trees out of that big tree, we've got. Like 15,000 litres of timber out of that, so that's all straight into the sawmill, the main one. Actually, how is our little sawmill doing? Obviously, if we distribute it, we could send some over there, get some hay silage. Yeah. But yeah, go all the way back up here. Man, these greenhouses. Okay, so I've still got plenty of water. And they're still good, doing good for seeds and that. I haven't checked for a while. I've seen they're lasting ages, they are. Absolutely beautiful. So if we turn those on, get some more flour being made. So yeah, that's uh, 52,000 litres. And that's only got 2,000 litres left, that should be fine. Greenhouses also should be fine. 
So all in all, I am happy. But yeah, I think this is definitely worth it. And this is going to be the last time we're messing around with this, with the whole moan situation. I'm happy where it is now, so... The problem is, from now on, there's going to be new more changes to the moan up. Unless we touch... Uh, actually, yeah. Unless we do get a bather. Or another wind rower, because actually, yeah, think about it. Show us all that big wind rower. That would be very useful with straw. Wind rower all that up, and it will make the forest wagon a lot easier to pick up. All of the straw and that, but... Well, we're not doing anything this year. Like harvesting wise for... Oh, she's we are. We're doing... Barley? Or wheat. We can do that. So yeah, we're definitely not doing anything this year for straw. Okay, right there to where our tree is, so go down here. Also you can't hire a worker because obviously it is a meadow, not a field. Once this gets converted into a field and that, man, because yeah, I think, again, if we do, I think two fields, not three, so do one to here, and then a second section over here. We'll have a little small divider. Actually, yeah, just a tiny divider. Just dis dis yeah, distinguish the fields, but besides from that, Okay, we may even plant grass in, in both of these again, so... Who knows what we're going to do at the end of the day. But regardless, we're going to continue on with this. Get this all finished off. And then I'll see you folks when we're done.
done. It's almost done actually, I think. Have a look at the field. About half of it, I would say. Yeah, maybe just 45% done, so not too shabby. And we've got 84,300 litres of A currently in here. And the rest will get it finished off in the next episode. Yeah, don't think it'll take it. Still, I think just one quick time lapse. I'll get all that done. But yeah, man, this is really helpful. And certainly a game changer for us. So, what's going in? And I've already got some hay in storage. Not sure what the capacity is. I should find out now. About. 200 and 250 perhaps? Yeah, I'll say something like that. 200, 250,000 years. However, does it go in? Just whack into the silo. But that should be just about enough for all of this because when we did the big field <coughs> over there, we had 55 bells of silage. That was 550, 600,000. No. Yeah, 600,000 years because of them 1,000 year bells, if I remember. So, yeah, I'll say we'll get about 250 at uh, this, 225. I yeah, I think I had to guess. I'll say about 225, 200, some more so. Just because so much is, is forestry, and obviously with the production chains on the other side over there, so. But this will be a very handy a little nifty field for us, so I definitely make most use of that. And I think with our choices now with the mode setup, it has made it all worthwhile. We speed up the size production, we get size straight away, they're ferment. Even though we won't use it straight away, realistically we'll wait a month or two once it's done. Just to roughly simulate obviously it fermenting. At least a month, like it does with the bells and that, so... But at least we know it's going to definitely speed things up. So, yeah, next episode... I think cows is going to be on the agenda. Also, I have a couple of ideas with this. Like, once we clear the forest... I know we said we were going to replant all this. All this retained or supply and demand for timber but actually I think we'll replant some of this perhaps maybe flat bits out on the top whack another product a small production on top I'm not sure if we can go to yet we may not even need another production chain but one thing I like to do is just carve the rocks here just carve it straight through into the field over here I think I'm actually quite sick indeed. That's why we can... Actually, yeah, you know what? Just looking at your now. You're going to need another one of these, so I'm thinking... If we go up a bit... Whack a production chain... As well as a shed up here. Yeah, I'll look really nice. But definitely at some point we need to upgrade the yard, make it... Or long term, because yeah, realistically, in terms of equipment, we're always going to upgrade. If we can, go with the John Deere X9 Combine. That's perhaps about two years out, I think. And yes, we're making a significant amount of cash at the moment, but it's all for a purpose. Things like the grapevines, they're expensive to sell. The harvesters, the equipment for that. I think just for the equipment alone, including a new small tractor, we're going to need that. Those are about 50 grand alone. The harvesters are about 240, that's 280 there. You're looking at the best part of 400 grand, 500 grand. Easily spending on the great vineyards. And there's finding a plot of land for that as well. A couple of options for us, well, I may think about, but. Not going to quite disclose it yet. Ah, sure, I can disclose it now. If I had to guess, like. Farmland over here. 
or perhaps the vineyard somewhere on this hills over here. Because if we go over here, go up north. Because yeah, I think about Actually, it's pretty flat over here. 39, once it goes flat, it's actually relatively quite flat here. Again, there, oh, yeah, a bit of ton of forestry over here. But, even then, we can still keep it, we don't have to get rid of it. These small trees will get rid of for sure, but... Then perhaps, actually, 19. Have a vineyard going uphill. That'd be a nice view to see, and obviously, if he was able to render properly uh, all the way with, on the PC, definitely see our farm over there. But it's just the idea of it having a vineyard going uphill. That'd be nice. Oh man, this is quite steep. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, even that. Oh, it's just about to see our fields over there. Have a vineyard going up here to the edge of the map. And obviously not down that, but... Actually, yeah, I'd be actually quite interested to have a vineyard all the way up here. It's going to put a lot of strain on our equipment, but... Definitely a worth thing to consider. May have to do some tests by getting like a small tractor and see how it copes and that up here, but certainly plot 18 with a slight slope up here going up. Go along the edges. That's definitely something to consider. But regardless, that's going to be, I don't know, 10 episodes down the road perhaps. Well, if we're doing it month by month, yeah, easily. 12 episodes by episode 30, we'll start looking at that. Vineyards, 20, episode 25 perhaps, at the earliest, but... I think, what, we're on 19 now, so... Yeah, at least another 12 episodes from now, because obviously... If we do plant them, it'll be this time next year. But anyways, that is where we're going to leave it today, as always. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, as always, smash that button, throw it down down below. If you want to share it, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for all you do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this has been Farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.